Okay, remember, if you have a real estate uh, model, or project finance for that matter, if you, one of the key things is just to understand the dates and the phases. This is when you, we said this is year by year, not month by month. This is month by month. This is quarter by quarter. This is when you spend some money on permits and stuff. We said that's like a dinner date and you could lose all your investment. This is when you're spending a whole bunch of other people's money on your uh, wedding and you're, maybe you're even buying a house or something. And this is when you get married and this is the, the, the period of your marriage where maybe you just exit or that's kind of bad. Uh, or maybe you stay stay there for the, your life. So we're going to put a timeline. This is a crucial part of the model. Um, there are a hundred different ways to do this. This is going to be a, a relatively complicated one because we have different time periods and we have a development period. So I'm going to start with just a little time period code. Now, if you press shift right arrow can you see right here it says 41 so let's go out to maybe we better go out to something like 100 periods and then control r now if you would like to put 100 here and just copy this across one of the things you can do is you could press control up shift control oops sorry control up control right arrow down uh, shift control left arrow control R. I would hope you never do that. What a pain. Some people can do that really, really fast and they're proud of it. Another way to do that would be to go to the end, click uh, shift control right arrow control zero to delete, and then you could uh, go put your 100 in and you can press shift control right arrow control R. But uh, you have to then, you know, if you want to get those columns back, you'd have to press shift control zero. I'm going to press control Z a, a couple of times, uh, one more time, and get them back. A third way to do this is shift control right arrow, shift alternate right arrow, and press the, that just hides this, and you can press two to unhide it. I'm going to, and then that. I'm going to do the, whoops, control Y, oops, I can't, uh, shift, sh shift, shift, shift alternate left arrow, whoops, I thought I had them all shaded, shift, whoops, oh shoot, shift control right arrow, shift alternate left arrow takes it away, okay, now for me the best way is make your own little macro to do this. Now I happen to give you one. If you open this a file called generic macros, okay, and uh, now if you um, put 100 and simply press shift control R, it does what the very first one did. Okay, so that's what we'll do now. After we put the period, let's put our dating period, our development period. And then we uh, insert a couple more lines. And then let's put our construction period. And that's like our engagement period. And then our operating period. Okay, and, and we, we could even really put our exit period. Okay, and uh, let's let's put uh, uh, this, and let's now for this one. Can you put? Let's put when our period starts. So let's put the start, and this is a period number. This has nothing to do with the whether it's months or something else. So we take this three, and then we add forty periods to this. Those are going to be months. And then we take this one and we add uh, 30 periods. Those are going to be quarters. And I think we put period. And I'm going to add add one uh, here. And this we'll just put manually. This is uh, 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 there are 12 months 
in this period there's one month three months because it's quarterly and here's the big trick with this uh, use a true false if I put equal one equal one that's true true is equal to one equal one equal zero that's false F false is equal to zero multiply something by true you get it the same multiply it by false switches it off it's like a light switch it helps enormously you go to this uh, um, period up here and you say well let's make it less than or equal to uh, this one and press f4 now shift control r now if you want to make two criteria, you have to put and tab always look at the time period first always always look at the time period that's got to be greater than three because the last one was less than or equal don't forget the f4 and then you put this one and you put less than or equal and you press f4 shift control r and then you put uh, another and and you always go up to the timeline less than and you press F4. You could even have, uh, you know, pressed F4 a couple of times, and uh, and then less. Okay, great. I, I meant to be greater than here. I hope. And then I I I hope I and less than or equal to this one. And you press F4. Greater than less than. Shift Control R. Now you what you can do here is press Shift Control T and Shift Control F. That comes from this uh, generic macro file. So you can see that we have that. Here's 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 our, our thing. Now this is the 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 uh, and I guess we can put our exit period, which is the same thing here. That simply we go up to this one and no and sign. Just press a F4. Okay, Shift Control R, Shift Control F, Shift Control T. That comes from the okay, and let's put uh, uh, end date date of period. Okay, and we can uh, put equal E O month. It's a wonderful little function, and at very first put zero. So that's and then press Shift Control three. And I meant to put uh, minus one. You know that I did that. Minus one. Okay. And now, if we, oops, oh, we didn't do something. Let's put months per period. This is per period. Now, th this you can use the true falses. Now, this, I'm doing something a little bit advanced with this. This is not an easy one, by the way. We put this and multiply this by this. So true times one, true, and you need the, an F4. You need the, uh, to put the multiplication sign in this one. So can you see why this is 12? It's this true times this 12. This true times this 12. Then this true times this one. And then if we go all the way across, boo, 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 boo. There, now it's switched to uh, quarterly. Do you see that? So now I can get our dates all very, very fancy. A little too advanced, maybe, but equal EO month. And we uh, go back to this month and we go up to this one. Shift Control 3. And Shift Control R. Now we can also go to the beginning of the period. Uh, you know, I did, no, I didn't. Uh, this is okay. So we have three years. This is going to be uh, uh, this is December thirty first of fifteen. December December thirty first of fourteen. So the start date, um, just a minute, just a minute, oh shit. Okay, I, uh, I apologize for this last one. See, this is a, this is a tricky one. I, I think we should start with the EO month. Oh, there's, pr there's probably a much better to do this, comma minus one. So we'll start with this one. 
and then we put EO months just so you see this we go to this one and then go up to 12 so this just goes to the next month the next month the next month then we can put uh, start of month okay and we can make this date this one plus one okay and uh, then we get our our uh, timeline okay and here's what we also probably are going to need we're certainly going to need a couple of things we're going to need the year because here's why we'll need the year down here when we did these oh look at this i uh this actually wouldn't matter but but uh, we we put the these by year and then i didn't put something over here for the for the let's put an s curve And, and for this S curve, let, let's put S curve, let's make it a uh, year. So let's say we have how many, how many, where are the, where are the construction months? We have 40 months, so that's about f more than three years. One, two, three, four. And let's say it's got 20% in the first year. 40% in the second year, which means we've got 60, uh, 30%, and 10%. Okay, that's our spending money. Okay, spend a percent. And let's put that as a, a percent. Okay, now shift control C, remember. Okay, and uh, uh, so here we can put here year now let's it doesn't really matter shift control uh, the little approximate sign and then we can put uh, construction uh, month okay and we can on this one put an equal sign plus just the construction period so it's zero okay and then if we want to get the construction year there are a couple of ones one of the nice little tricks is to use the roundup we put roundup and we take this one and divide it by 12 and we round up to zero shift control r so what that does is it gives you ones and then it eventually goes to twos and then it eventually goes to threes fours and if we really wanted to be fancy we could uh say okay well i i don't i want it to be zero when it's not the construction period so we multiply it by this okay so that was a very difficult kind of uh, uh thing but it, it it illustrates some of the timeline issues and i apologize for for uh, kind of um, making some mistakes so what i'm going to do is save this as our hotel uh, timeline okay and um we, we um uh once we have that then we're going to make another video and now we're going to work through the uh, assumptions maybe we'll put some general economic assumptions here and after we put the assumptions in we'll put the uh, I'm sorry why don't we first put the, the construction cost assumptions in and uh, once we put the construction cost assumptions in and get our construction right then we'll put the revenues and capital allowance and everything else okay so that's the end of the second video